Last week we finished by the Lamed, right? Today is Mem. Mem. Let's repeat after me. Mem. 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 Uh, mem is truth. Mem is the truth. And this is water. This is water. And this numeric value is 40. 40. Uh, occur is it, uh, very important to understand the Hebrew meaning because uh, today you saw my teaching uh, through the board. There's lots of Hebrew letters because uh, we have to be close to the original meaning that we need to understand from the God's word. Otherwise, we can be twisted in terms of the interpretation of the meaning, meaning, and then we can uh, we can miss some points that our God really want us to reveal. So the Hebrew letter is a basic that we need to bring uh, bring to the interpretation of the old God's words. Okay, so. Uh, you can refer to the, the, the previous videos that I uh, recorded for the classes for the Hebrew letters. So uh, I think uh, Ray Raymond, uh, the band, you can invite him to the, uh, the YouTube channel to refer to the, the videos of the Hebrew letter. Okay? So, mem is a numeric value is 40. Uh, as I said, from the cup, it is uh, the area of the application. So, 20 was Kaf, and 30 is Lamed, and now 40 is Mem. Uh, today, you guys learned about uh, Moed, right? Moed. So what was Moed? What was Moed? Uh, fist, yes. Oh. <laughs> now you guys are remember a little bit later. Fist, right? So what was the Fist. Fist was to change your perspective. So there was I. And this is the door. Your perspective, after you change your perspective, you can be subordinate to the door. To the door. To the truth. Okay? So your perspective should be changed first. Then you can be subordinate subordinate to the truth through the door that's the meaning of a moed so whatever you find the the mem in the letter of the hebrew this is moed you can interpret it as a water and truth okay and what is um mulaka mula mulaka Mul, mulaka. mulaka. So what is mulaka? Mulaka is walk and labor. Okay, labor. Uh, you need to remember in mulaka there's a law. Law is no, no. Okay, no. What is a no? Uh, Normally, we walk from Monday to Saturday. Mm. That's uh, planned from the Kedem. Kedem is before creation. Okay? So, our God set the six days for laboring. And then you can take the rest on the seventh day. Um, Mulaka is that now I have to decide. I have to decide to go on to the next level. The cycle means when you finish the one cycle, then you need to perceive there's a one more cycle for the next level, for the upgraded level. So the cycle is just not kind of a continuous steps. The seven, cycle, the seven days for the one cycle is just a step that you need to be upgraded to the next level. Okay? So, what does it mean? The laboring, the laboring, but this laboring is not only for your physical world, but the, this laboring for the six days should be based on your upgrade to the next level. 
in the spiritual world. So that's why you need to say no. You need to say no. This is not only the laboring for your physical one to get your desires in your world, but also the desires of the spiritual world that you have to take for the spiritual world. All right? So you have to say the no. But for what? For what? The truth. The water, which is unselfish mind, unselfish heart, that is only applied on the seventh day, on the eighth day, after you are laboring in this physical world, then you can go up to the next level with the water and truth. And you can apply um, there's lots of words which is including the man. But man, the man is, is, um, is, uh, the water is unselfishness. Unselfishness. So, uh, male wrote, male wrote, is a lighter lighter so greater lighter is called the sun and the lesser lighter is called moon right so all the lighters has the truth to be shined to you uh, greater lighter is compared as a husband and the lesser lighter is compared to bride so bride always receive the light from the great light, the truth, the water, and the reflect the, the light to the people. We are all vessels. We are all bride. What, whatever uh, the light that we are shining to our neighbors is coming from the heaven, coming from our husband, the bridegroom. So every uh, the lighters, uh, every, every the light in you, it should be based on the light from our husband, all right, our Lord. That's the light. That's the light. And um, what else? Do you know? Uh, do you remember the Tom Melek? Melek. Two Melek. Uh, Melek, and this Melek. Malek. Do you know what is the difference? This is a king. This is a sword. Okay. But the same as this moor is you need to train. The Lamed is a train. Train the truth. The training, the truth is the basis for your taste in the world. If you, uh, if you lose your taste, like, a, you know, if you can be compared as a sort, if you lose your, your taste, then you can be stepped on. That's what our Jesus said. So, um, you need to train the water. You need to train the truth. Even if the truth is given to you, as a lesser light, you need to train it. Then you can reflect the light. Exactly. What is a melek? Melek is, uh, when it comes to the king in the world, we, we normally perceive the king is kind of a powerful one. I can dwell, I can reign everything. Oh, okay, now you have to go and take this one. This is my comment. That's kind of a king that you might think as an image. But the real king in the spiritual world has nothing. Has nothing. Think about our Jesus who came to us. He had nothing. That's why he was persecuted and he was hanged on the cross and he was killed. Because no images for the king in the physical world was, was not shown to the people. That's why people didn't follow him as a king of the physical world. But the king, Melech, is the one that has nothing. Because training the truth, training the water, 
an application, you need to apply the training the water inside of you, and then you can be called king. Because our Jesus said that you are king, you are priest like a king. You guys are called as a, a king, but the king, the king is our Jesus. But you guys are also called a king. A king is that you can train the real water, which could be flow down to neighbors from your deep place, which is called the sanctuary, the temple. Okay? It is so important. Melech and Melech. Can you, can you repeat after me? Melech. Melech. Uh, and this is Melech. Melech. Uh, this is a sword and this is king. All right? Let's finish.